Hi, before we start, I just want to say to anybody who has watched my very first 100 days video, thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing. It's it genuinely, I took so much time making it. Me and my friend Sam, we had so much fun making it. It was awesome. And my next 100 days video is going to be a nostalgia trip where I play the Super Mario mashup pack. I'll even have the Legacy 4J mod so that we can experience it like in the old console days. And it, although it might not take as long as the Parasite video, which obviously makes a lot of sense, it still will take a bit for me to actually edit and upload it to YouTube. But anyways, without further ado, enjoy my physics presentation I presented to the entire class. Hi, my name is Kush, and I'm here to talk about lasers. You know them, the bright beams of light that are used as swords in Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars. Now, lasers are really cool, but how are they made? Well, in May 16th, 1960, a man by the name of Theodore Maiman had invented the first ever laser. He did this by shining a high power flash lamp on a ruby rod that had silver coated surfaces. Apparently how it works is that the light stimulates the atoms or molecules to get into a high energy state, which creates a laser. After that was found out, this caused a whole new innovation of technology that includes a bunch of different lasers. Now, lasers consist of light waves ranging from infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet waves, giving them a bunch of different purposes. Like an example in the medical field, ultraviolet waves are used for laser eye surgery to help restore vision to many people who would usually need glasses. And how it works is very simple. These lasers would be pointed directly at your eye to reshape them so you get your vision back. Pretty cool, right? Or in areas outside of medical knowledge, sometimes other lasers, like infrared lasers can do things like create engraved markings on items like metal or plastic or creating some nifty signs and plates that usually are really cool to look at. This is very cool and amazing, but how about we talk about Minecraft's nuclear tech mod? Oh, okay, this may just be the most stupid thing to add in a presentation, especially about lasers. What does a nuclear tech mod have to do with lasers? And here we are in my little nuclear bunker that I created. Um actually like not too long ago i just built it but how about i show you uh what i like to call the laser isotope separation chamber room this room contains a laser which is why i'm showing you it in minecraft but uh how about we enter this room shall we now that we're in the room right here so now that we're in the room right here you can see this Oh, hello. Well, anyways, as you can see right here, this is our laser isotope separation chamber. And as you can see right here, this is the laser that we're gonna be using for this. But what does it do, you may ask? Well, oh my God, this guy's ruining my scene. I don't think he's gonna leave. There you go. But as the machine implies, this machine separates elements from neutrons by using a laser to push them away. So. How about we, how about we show this? So you can see we have the laser right here and you can see this little slot. And as you can see right here, this crate contains a lot of lenses. We have, you know, from radio, microwave, infrared, all the way to gamma. But the ones that only exist IRL are infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet. You can't, the other ones you can't get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ultraviolet lens and put it in here, and then we're gonna turn on the laser. Now, as you can see, there's the ultraviolet waves being created in this little machine right here. So let's take out the this uh, stack of uranium because what we can do is we can put the uranium inside of the machine and it will slowly start to separate the neutrons from the uranium. And as you can see, it's creating a bunch of isotopes. Now, these isotopes can be used for a lot of things, like uranium-238 can be used for nuclear fuel to power entire cities. And then you also have uranium-235, which can also be used for, well, uh, this thing. Yeah, anyway, now let's go outside because I want to show y'all something I like to call an orbital death ray. And don't mind this missile here. Don't mind my little Duracell battery missile. I'm... But anyways, let's go outside because I want to show y'all something very interesting. You see that thing over there? You see, you see this? Yeah, uh, that is that is um, conveniently placed on my target right there. And uh, this is actually really perfect. Hey, can you not? But anyways, this is very perfect because I have just the setup for my orbital death ray. You can see I can open this panel up 
to show a um, top-down view of the current map that we're in. Now, I have to be very careful because I don't want that thing to see me because if it sees me i'm dead but as you can see right here that this is what the orbital death ray looks like it, it is what a meteor and so what we want to do is we want to quickly watch and observe as we use the orbital death ray on our target right here so we click this area right over here look at that but yeah as you can see the land is looking very nice right now see this is what lasers can do if we, we, we give them time but anyways that's gonna be it for my laser technology video uh this has been fun i'll see you guys next time Bye bye